Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Breath War. Back in here with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because around here, we breed champions. Hey, check out my videos. You know, the proof is in the pudding. Um, we just going to jump straight into this video, guys. Um, Right now, what we're trying to do is breed some perfect front horses um for those who are new to the channel um i've been trying to breed perfect front horses because um i only race back horses you know what i mean and i've been winning like that but um you know i had a couple people comment and say that they use front horses or um or they told me they prefer front or even uh saying that front horses are better so I'm like, hmm, you know what? Since I'm am a YouTuber doing this kind of content, I might as well breed a, a a perfect front horse and um make that decision on myself and like really give front horse a chance and be like, okay, front horse is better or nah, I still prefer the back. So it's gonna be interesting to see because um I have perfect horses and I have some horses that aren't perfect, but we still win so uh but you know i'm always going to aim for perfect so right now faithful object is the stallion and um i'm just pairing him with kind of everybody right now the first thing i want to do is breed for a coat because i definitely want one of my front horses that's going to be perfect to have to be white nape or uh half appaloosa and um so we're definitely going to uh breed faithful object raspberry rider the white nate um i actually just got this uh this mare from that first litter so guys what i'm actually doing right now is counterintuitive i told you guys i want a front horse right but i just paired the middle with a middle now i don't care about that because whatever horse comes out next, just know that the pedigree bumps up one. So if any of the grandparents had bird catcher spots, now the bird catcher spots is gone. And then we're going to have another generation of either half Appaloosa or, uh, or white Nate. And then we're just going to keep doing that over and over. If we get a plain horse, we're going to do it with the plain horses. But now you see how I jumped to I switched my stallion to a front stallion to uh, do this last breeding. And then I'm actually going to start actually using him in order to breed some front horses. Because right now, like I said, we just want. Oh, my God, bro. They keep giving me Pinto. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, guys, just know that um right now we're just trying to get horses that are either plain or you know white nape or half appaloosa um i have that other dapples horses but we know they got the uh oh my god another they have what we looking for you know what i'm saying they have what we looking for in the pedigree so um yeah with that being said you guys see me breeding right you see me breeding a half appaloosa and you see me breeding white nape and you also see me uh breeding the uh the horse that's a uh, dapples the white horse guys it doesn't matter what you breed the pedigree is everything the if your pedigree is contaminated with this right here if your pedigree is contaminated with twin pinto it's most likely gonna get twin pinto these are what we call common genetics so if you guys go to your horse and you click the pedigree every single thing in the pedigree is going to be able to be passed on to your foe so if you have something common like bird catchers twin pinto or uh bird catcher spots come on man you know what i'm saying is chances are you most likely going to get this so you're going to have to breed a lot and um you're going to just have to hope that you get something that you really want now i'm going to do this because i have the time and the material to do it but if you guys want to do it 
this is how you do it. You want to breed everything out of the uh everything out the pedigree. So this video, like I said, we're just gonna keep uh doing it over and over and over. It's gonna be a uh, repetitive until we start seeing um so we need a stallion. We need a stallion that's either white nape or half Appaloosa. We're gonna keep trying that. And then we're gonna switch over to uh I forget the stallion name because he's just here for breeding. Um and he's pretty new. But I'll be switching over to him. He's the white stallion that's dapples. And um I don't mind using him because he got a lot of white nape in the pedigree and he also have uh Appaloosa in the pedigree and he has um uh, he got his pet the pedigree nice on that horse. So we're switching to him because he's a front horse. So now I'm breeding front horses with uh horses that are white nape and also a uh, Matt Appaloosa mask simply because we want to have I'd rather have dapples in the generation than to have something else. And on top of that, we're going to get a chance at a front horse and we do need a front horse. So we're just pairing them with all the other horses. And then see, we get dapples. See, like, ooh, that's a nice Philly. 47 across the board until you get to the uh, riding stats, which is actually, per this is a perfect riding horse, y'all. But, oh, okay. But, um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much what you're going to get dapples and um okay now we're going to see what the white nape give us a white nape yes sir now this is a coat now here's the thing with these coats the stats are horrible right now we're not worried about the stats we're just worried about getting a front horse that's um you know like a stallion that's coated and um that's what we just got right there so what we're going to do is we're going to breed him and we're going to uh he's going to be in the pedigree for the father line in the father genetics and then we got another coat right here that's dapples and like i said guys it's going to be repetitive um the most common genetics going to come out and that's okay we just got to keep doing it over and over wash rinse and repeat kind of until we get what we looking for but hey we just having fun with it you know what i'm saying we just having fun with it and trying to yes sir breathe these white napes hey this oh this is a level eight coat it's a level eight coat that's pretty crazy um like i said um we looking for uh coats with this coat now the thing is, uh, they have to be front horses. If they aren't front horses, we're still gonna do it anyway, just to just to uh, you know kind of fix the generation and fix the bloodline because we don't want to keep getting twin pintos. That's what we don't want to do. We don't want to keep getting bird catcher spots. So we're gonna need fillies. We're gonna need mares. And we're just going to keep breeding all of them together. Like you see here, it's a middle horse. It's not even a front horse. I wouldn't even breed with this horse because it's a great eight. And um, it's too high. But as you can see on the mare side, there's a twin pinto that's gray seven. And there's a splash white face. We don't want that there. So we really need to actually start breeding um, white nate mares and you know crossing those you'll see what you you guys will see what i start doing um right now i do want to try this though i do want to try this uh <laughs> so i'm just gonna do it but that's besides the point now we're gonna um start using a white nape stud with white napes and guys, we're going to start using them with our plain front horses because we got a white nape front mare. So now we can start breeding a middle stallion with a front mare. Because like I said, guys, we want a front horse. And the only way we can get a front horse is breeding with the front horse. So it's still a 50-50 chance, but that's what we're doing. And then you guys see me do it with the plain horse because 
I'd rather have playing in the generation than have uh, bird catchers or twin pinto or whatever the case may be. Because the hidden trait might be what's rare. And um, when you're breeding with white Nate, that most likely is going to be the hidden trait. Because it's more of that in the pedigree. And the hidden traits usually... Oh my, the, the hidden traits usually almost be all the time uh, what's more uh, rare or uncommon. So, uh, yeah, breeding... We're going to be breeding with the plane because... Trust me, guys, breed, breeding with plain horses is, is nice, but you still have to pay attention to the plain horse pedigree. This is a plain horse, but the pedigree have nothing but white nape and um dapples and uh whatever else you know. You know what I'm saying? Those half Appaloosa. And um, so that's what that's what's pretty much coming out. So here we go. We have another plain mare. Now, like I said. This is perfect. Why? Because we fixed the generation now. Uh, the twin Pinto that was in the bloodline is no longer there. So twin Pinto for my mares is no longer there because of the foe that we just had. Now we just got another Philly White Nate. Now we starting to get the ball rolling. Now the ball is rolling, guys. We starting to get the Phillies we need. But we still need Stallions as well. But we just fixing the bloodline right now. That's all we doing, guys. That's all we doing. Now, Staircase Surprise got all kind of contaminated blood. She has bird catcher spots and she has twin pinto. It is so tough breeding with her because she just stubborn. She don't care about none of that. She be like, look, you know how long it takes to carry this foe? You get in the bird catcher spots. And that's that's that. I don't want to hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? She don't be having it. But um, we're going to do another litter here with this um, middle horse. Now, I just bre um, breeded it with all the front mares that I had. Whether the mare was plain or whether the mare, mare was coated. And I just want to see what we're going to get. Here we go. Ooh, twin pinto. Ooh, badger face. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, ooh, look at the stats, though. The stats is nice, but you got to go because we can't do twin pentos. That horse was one stat away from being perfect. One stat. But I had to sell it. I know somebody else will be in love with that horse. Um, Here we go. We get a filly. Um... As long as it's a front, I'll be okay with this. We don't mind playing horses. As long as it's a front horse, I feel like we're going to uh, keep this horse around to breed with. Let's see what the white Nate give us. The white Nate. Yes, sir. Ooh, little weak in the legs there. Uh, that might be a middle horse. You could tell, by the way. <laughs> weak in the legs. But, um, yeah, guys, this is, like I said, wash, rinse, and repeat. We just going to keep doing it over and over again. And we're trying to breed um what we can to, uh you know, get what we want. And let's see what the grade nine give us. Wow. I'm, at, I'm, I'm angry. But we, I'm going to pretend like I'm not angry. We just got a bird catcher spot, you guys. With the half Appaloosa and a blanket. No, this is an Appaloosa fade with the half Appaloosa and we get bird catcher spots. And that's what I mean, guys, about having contaminated bloodlines. This will make any horse breeder break the phone. Look at this. There is no bird catcher spots in this. There's no bird catcher spots in this pedigree, you guys, at all. Everything is Appaloosa Fade, Rabacano, or uh, half Appaloosa. Like, and we get bird catcher spots. Why? Because it's most likely Zen's fault. 
definitely not trying to do that again. Not no time soon, at least. But yeah, guys, we're just going to go ahead and get this bird catchers uh, out of here. Um, even if it was a front horse, I wouldn't even use it because bird catcher spots is considered contamination around here. Okay, so we got another middle horse. But guys, look at the pedigree. You do not see no twin pinto in this pedigree, do you? Nope. You only see white Nate and you only see dapples, right? Yep. Why? Because <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Look, guys. We don't got to worry. With this horse, we don't have to worry about no bird catcher spots. We know we're going to get dapples or we're going to get... um white nate that's how you breed to get um you know what i mean what you want period whatever kind of horse you want now i'm using white napes and half appaloosas and, and and dapples but i'm trying to let you guys know right now you can whatever horse you're targeting this is how you do it you have to keep breeding horses with the same with the with the um with the genetics that you want and yes you're not going to get what you want all the time but when you do get it you're going to breed it out the pedigree now i can now i can breed this horse without being scared of getting bird catcher spots or you know and, and, it's, and you know i can just breed you know my front horse with my middle we don't got to really worry about nothing but um like i said that's a middle mare this is why you need a front stallion we still didn't get the front stallion yet. This middle stallion helps fix the bloodline, but it's not going to fix the problem in, in um giving us the uh, front horse. We still need to breed middle with front. So we're still going to be trying all kind of combinations. And we're still going to um switch the stud to uh, get a chance of, of, you know, front horses. You know, that's what we got to do. Now, let's see what this round uh, give us. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for giving me something exotic. Guys, this whole video, and it took this long for us to get an exotic coat. Look how long it took. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's very repetitive, guys. You don't always get it, but... And the stats is nice. The stats is nice. Okay, 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 okay. I see you. Not very good in riding, but... You know, as far as racing, the stats is nice. All right, let's see what this horse gives us. First one by her will be... <laughs> Twin Pinto. Um, I think that might have something to do. I don't know. Um, you guys see me. I haven't really been checking the pedigrees. I've just been um just going at it and breeding because I know eventually I'm gonna get what I want. Yes, sir. We get a level five Philly, and it's white Nate. So um, yeah, guys, this is going to be the last round. I'm running out of materials, so um. You're just going to collect these horses and get up out of here. So, guys, um, you see me. Obviously, I'm dropping videos like crazy. So, uh, make sure y'all uh, do me a favor. Hit the like button for me. So, the algorithm could, you know, do its thing. And, um, you know, more people can discover the channel. Because we want to build the family to be big. We want to breed. We want a lot of people to. Wow. another. We want people to be champions around here. So, you know, spread the word. Spread the word. So, we all could be. Uh, champions and we all can compete on the highest level i will be bringing out another video extra extra soon y'all know me i've been pushing these videos out like crazy it's your boy breath for war questions comments and concerns you already know what to do i'm out